Hello students, myself, Dr. Divya Gildiyal, in continuation with my lecture series for AKTU University BTEC first year engineering physics syllabus. Today in electromagnetic theory, I will be briefing you about pointing theorem and pointing vector. As we know that an electromagnetic wave consists of two components, the electric field and the magnetic field, which are traveling perpendicular to each other and perpendicular to the velocity of light. So basically an electromagnetic wave is consisting of these components. The pointing theorem tells us that the energy is conserved when an electromagnetic wave travels. So the propagation of electromagnetic wave results in the transportation of energy from one place to another and pointing theorem gives us the conservation of energy in electromagnetism. Pointing vector mathematically represents the vector product of the electric and magnetic field. So in today's lecture, we are going to derive a mathematical expression representing pointing vector. This question of 10 marks is often asked in your AKTU paper. So how do we start deriving an expression for pointing vector? For this, we will be using Maxwell's equation 3 and 4. This is Maxwell's third equation, which states that a changing electric field gives rise to a changing magnetic field in the opposite direction. That is Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction and the fourth equation is a modified form of ampere circuital law curl h equal to j plus del d by del t where j is current density and d is your electric displacement vector now in order to get an expression which consists of both electric field and magnetic field we will apply a very simple mathematical trick to combine both these expressions. What are we going to do? In expression one, if you can see, H is missing. So we'll multiply left-hand side and right-hand side of the above expression with H the magnetic component and in equation two, as you can see, the electric field component E is missing. So we will multiply left-hand side and right-hand side by E. See students, this is just a mathematical trick through which we will easily be able to derive an expression which consists of both my electric and magnetic field vectors. Okay, now here you see this expression equation number three, h dot curl E equal to minus h del B by del T and equation four, E dot curl H is equal to E dot J plus E dot del D by del T. After that, again, a new mathematical trick, we will subtract equation four from equation three so that we get an expression which consists of both electric and magnetic vectors. So subtracting equation four from equation three, my personal advice is please download the PDF which is given in the description box. Take a print out of it, keep it on the table and follow me step by step. Very easily you will be able to understand pointing theorem. So here we get after subtracting equation four from equation three, we get H dot curl E minus E dot curl H is equal to minus H del B dot del T minus E del D by del T minus E dot J. Taking minus sign common, this expression we get. Now this is a vector identity about which you must have heard in mathematics, your gradient and vector theorems divergence of E cross H or any cross product is equal to H dot curl E minus E dot curl H. 
this value we will put in left hand side of the above expression and then the equation becomes divergence e cross h is equal to minus h del b by del t plus e del d by del t minus e dot j now again we will simplify this expression further by keeping the values of b and d in terms of mu and epsilon. We have heard about b equal to mu h. I have told you in my very first lecture on electromagnetic theory and d equal to epsilon e. So we will keep b equal to mu h here, d equal to epsilon e here. And just writing form, what we will do h is del mu h upon del t plus e del epsilon e by del t minus e dot j. Okay, now mu from here we will take out common. So this expression can be written as half del h mu h by del t plus half del e epsilon e by del t minus e dot j. Now this expression reduces to this form where divergence E cross H becomes equal to minus del by del T half E dot D plus H dot B minus E dot J. Now we will integrate this equation over a volume V which is bounded by a surface S and we get integral divergence E cross H dV equal to minus del V del by del T half E dot D plus H dot B dV minus integral V E dot J dV. Now have a very closer look at this expression here. This is very, very, very important from your AKTU point of view. Look, this expression has combined your electric field and magnetic field, plus it has given you an expression for pointing vector. And this expression is also mathematically showing that with electric field and magnetic field also, here see EH, the energy is conserved when this wave is traveling. The first term here, integral J dot E dV represents the rate of transfer of energy into the electromagnetic field due to the motion of charges due to the motion of charges. See, J dot E dV. Now look at this term here. D by dt half E dot d h b dV. This is representing the total energy where E dot d is due to the electric field and h dot b is due to magnetic field. See, half E dot e h plus h dot b dV. Electric field magnetic field and the term integral E cross H dS represents amount of energy crossing per second through the closed surface. Pointing theorem in short, it gives us the statement of conservation of energy in electromagnetism which states that the time rate of change of electromagnetic energy within a certain volume plus time rate of energy flowing out through the boundary surface is equal to the power transferred into the electromagnetic field. This is very, very, very important from your AKTU point of view. Often a question is asked regarding the representation of these terms for your exam, both section C and section B question paper. Have a look what all has been asked in AKTU exam from this heading. What is pointing vector? Pointing vector describes the magnitude and direction of flow of energy in electromagnetic waves 
per unit volume. Thus, the dimensions of both the pointing vector and electromagnetic power density are same, where m is mass, l is length, and t is time. Explain pointing theorem. Here it is given. See, again, AKTU 2020, again, they have asked the very same explanation of pointing theorem. Pointing theorem, in short, you can write it in vector form as the rate of flow of energy per unit area in plane electromagnetic wave is given by S is equal to E cross H, which is known as pointing vector. If we keep H here in terms of B, then this expression can also be written as S is equal to 1 upon mu naught E cross B. Both the expressions are correct. S equal to E cross H. See, we derived it above out here. S is E cross H. This is pointing vector. This is known as pointing vector. So the pointing vector represents the direction of propagation of an electromagnetic wave as well as energy flux density or intensity. Numericals are asked on pointing vector. Usually, the general pattern in which the AKTU asks you the numericals are that they give you, they trick you on this expression. S is equal to E cross H. Here, what they do is that they give you the value of E and they will be giving you E and they will see here, S is equal to E cross H. They will give you E, expect you to find out H or they will give you the H value and expect you to find out E. I will give you a very simple example of uh, a numerical on pointing vector. Have a look at it here. The magnitude of pointing vector at the surface of a sun give power radiated by sun is 3.8 into 10 to the power of 26 watts and radius of sun is 7 into 10 to the power of 8 meter. Now from pointing vector formula, we know that S is equal to P upon A. A is area. For a sun, we know it is circular in shape. So we write 4 pi r square and pi is 3.14 r radius 7 into 10 to the power of 8 meter. Putting these numerical values here, we get the answer as 6.178 into 10 to the power of 7 watt per meter square. You can have a look at other numericals which have been asked. This numerical is also a very common numerical which have been asked many times in your AKTU paper. Assuming that the energy from a 1000 watt lamp by mistake it is 100 here, is radiated uniformly, calculate the average values of the intensity of electric and magnetic fields of radiation at a distance of 2 meter from the lamp. Again, we will be using the formula of pointing theorem. We will put the mathematical values and we use S is equal to E cross H. Since E and H are traveling perpendicular to each other, so sine 90 becomes 1 and we put the value E upon H is mathematically equal to approximately 376.72 ohm. Now we have two equations and two unknowns, E and H. You can solve it either way. You divide it or you multiply it individually to get the value of E and H. Rest of the other numericals and their detailed solutions, you can refer to my notes. Thank you.